Hi everybody, this video I'm going to show with you well, the problem that I have with the new Steam video recorder. So basically, I, you can see I have settings for uh, specific game Into the Dead. In all other games, 120 minutes. So only the 5 minutes for Into the Dead. Now keep in mind, although these are two separate things uh, for each one, and each one shows storage for each one, there is virtually basically uh, a single timeline. So basically, if I go uh, to the recording, as I can see, two background uh, recordings, right? So I told myself, all right, two separate ones. Each one going to have its own timeline. Now, the other one, I can actually delete it uh, because it's not active recording, right? But if I want to remove this one, delete it, I can. It will give me an error because, again, it's currently active. Now remember, I have 5 minutes limit for Into the Dead, and when I went in Into the Dead and recorded, yeah, we can actually see that it always loops for the 5 minutes. I mean, if you recorded something beyond the 5 minutes before that, it won't actually show it to you, because it always record the last 5 minutes. You can actually see that the timeline. Now it shows you, of course, the timeline for today, so basically, because it's only 5 minutes, it's going to get shrunk, but again, it's still 5 minutes recording, so you can see it here. So it only shows the last five minutes. So you can see here when I go back, beyond the five minutes, there's nothing. Inside the five minutes time period, there is content. So where's the problem? Well, for me, I mean, let me tell you, maybe I got something wrong, but went into Monster Hunter, for example, which is a global run, right? Because I don't have specific settings for it. So basically it recorded, I mean, I have specific, the global, which records the last 120 minutes, two hours. So basically, Again, I can see that it's recorded, but I told myself, all right, it's two separate uh, backgrounds. So I looked at the uh, available uh, backgrounds and see two separate ones, one for the Into the Dead and the other one for Monster Hunter. So I thought, yeah, great. But basically, the thing is that while I'm actually recording Monster Hunter, it's already overriding the Into the Dead background. So I thought it's going to maintain the Into the Dead one because I already wanted to have a separate space for it on my hard drive. Uh, so it will be there and I can just go back to it. If I continue playing, of course, again, it will override the same separate timeline. But what you're going to see, and I sped it up considerably, all right, that it's going to get shrunk, basically. You can see it here. Just go, you know, uh, basically I'm losing the recording of Into the Dead that I had for the timeline. Right? Again, this is just sped up, but you can see it here. I can't really go back because it's overriding with the newer content for the global settings for the other game. And when I go back to see the two background recordings, you can see only two minutes, right? It's just overriding it, so I'm basically losing that recording. So I need to create clips if I want to, but otherwise it's overridden. And this will actually reach the point where you actually losing your previous uh, recording for the timeline, and you see, it, basically, it's gone now. And if I want to go back and see the background for Into the Dead, it will longer, no longer be there. All right, so I can't really go back to it. Again, this is the background recording. So you see, it's not there. That's it. It's gone. So I don't know what I'm missing. If you know, let me know in the comment section below. This is not the behavior that I was actually expecting. I wanted two separate timelines, one for a specific game and one global. Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.